Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Darksiders 3. In this episode we are going to be continuing on with... Wow, this is bad already. With the gluttony boss fight. And see what we can do here. Um, not gonna lie. It's been a while. But we'll see what we can do here. Sick. I'm spewing his juices again. So yeah, basically how this is gonna go is... <clears throat> I'll make a couple of solid attempts at this. And... And if unsuccessful... Jeez. I will start editing. Oh, come on, go, go, go. Oh, he just has so much HP. Yes. And this motherfucker takes no damage, I swear. He's covering the area again with poison, which is bad. Yeah, okay, this is... It's really weird. This is like the first boss. Who just like takes... Basically zero damage from anything. Alright. That lasts for a lot longer than you think. Oh, you can hit... Shit. Well, can you hit him? Oh. I don't know what the hell he's doing. Oh, that. Okay. Oh, uh oh. Look at how little damage I've dealt. Look at this. Like, what the hell? I don't know what to do. Uh, I have four fucking heals for this entire fight. Okay, I'm dead. Yeah. I thought I still had a fraction of HP left, but... Man, this boss... This boss, I don't know. Am I doing something wrong? Is there something I'm not getting? But I, I, I don't know what I could be getting. Um, maybe it's just, like, insanely difficult, but... It's like, weird, because none of the bosses so far have seemed like this. Just, like, health sponges... And his like attacks are very difficult to perfect dodge too. All right, whatever, whatever. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> what the? What the hell was that? The, I don't know how noticeable that was. God, damn this fucking attack. So it looks like the whip by far does the most damage. Let me just... Nice. Finally. I'm getting like super annoyed. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Shit. Mm. Okay. Man, this is. Is this dude the? Demon Prince of this game. Okay, let me just... Try to figure out how... I should move... To kind of... Minimize damage from... You know... The poison. I'll still be able to get in on him. You know what I mean. 
So he always seems to speak before he does the grab attack. Or attempts it. Maybe you just gotta get really good at dodging him. Question is, is this the entire boss or does he have a second phase? He must have some like... Yeah, I thought so. I was like, I'm definitely not gonna have enough time. Okay. This guy is weird too. Like he, he says weird shit. But it's like what do you expect from this thing? Yeah, there is a second phase. Uh oh. Let's hope that you don't have to redo this one. Nah, you you for sure have to Oh He is this big monster. Shit. I'm assuming we gotta go grounded. We can't do damage to this thing, can we? Oh, he sucks in. What the hell? That's weird. Oh, okay. Shit, last heal. I'm gonna use an undying. Okay. So you have to get him somehow. To do like that suck move. And then he's gonna absorb the thing the question is how do you get him to do it <laughs> you just like gotta avoid him long enough or what I thought it would be like oh but you cannot use this weapon hmm Okay. Maybe get closer to him. Because I'm dying from these things. Oh shit. Yes. So hey, you gotta get close to him. Okay, I have a lot of healing shards. I'm gonna use one. Oh, that's classic. Oh, they did the finisher. <laughs> Bash this bitch. Okay. This second phase was the easiest thing ever. Holy shit. That's nice. I love these old finishers. Old school. Get into skull, bitch. So yeah, the only reason I was worried was because I thought that the second phase was gonna be as difficult and as tanky as the third phase I mean first phase no third phase hopefully no third phase because that's what I was like I was like dang are they really gonna make us but no that's why it was so tanky the first time around all right it, it all makes sense it all makes sense just a bit of a communication bit breakdown between me and the game so anyways how's everyone doing Looks like the floor has not loaded in, yes. There are so few surprises left in the world. This guy likes his portal gun. Isn't that sad? It's all good though. At the moment, I've had enough surprises. You sound odd. Is something wrong? Give me the ice power. That's what he's gonna do. This. The stasis. Stasis. It's not ice. Question my 
I question your motives. Why does the Lord of Hollows continue to weaponize one of the four horsemen? For what purpose? Remain on your path. In time, perhaps you will find your truth. That would be a fine surprise indeed. And in the meantime, more toys for me to play with? Horsemen, in our next encounter, only one of us will survive. Oh shit. Cryptic. Harley. You help me, then you threaten me? Be gone. This guy is weird. Like, I feel like he's being blackmailed. Maybe he owes drug money or something. I mean, look at him. That guy for sure smokes something. And maybe he owes his dealer or something. All right. That was quite the boss fight. Where is it going to take us? Hopefully back here, because I saw a lot of places where we can use this ice thing. So who's even left? Uh, glutton, like we've got most of that. Wrath, no, Wrath is the big one. Wrath and there's of course the angel looking one. All right. Back, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. That is really cool. This is like time based. Stasis wall grab. Okay. Going all Tomb Raider and shit. So, what's the weapon? Oh, double swords. That is badass. That Lord of Hollows is. That's one word for it. Only one will survive. Do you think he's helped us this far only to betray me? I'm sure I don't know. Relationships between the eternal ones are as confusing and convoluted as they come. They haven't kept up with Vati's lore, that's the problem. So you're a great help. Perhaps the Lord of Hollows is attempting to manipulate you in some way. Rattle you. Or he's gone utterly insane like the rest of his stinking world. He wasn't looking his best, was he? And he always looked like kind of a was not. weird. He looks like a League of Legends Time character. <laughs> but never mind that. If you say so, mistress. These two are definitely gonna fuck by the end, let me tell you that. They for sure sound like it. I kind of figured that one out, thanks game. Oh. Cold, but walking on water is a new trick. That is cool. Oh, and it transforms. Dang. We got all the powers, boys. We got them powers. Okay, not there. Right here. Some light platforming, which I've promptly fucked up. Never much of a platforming god. No, actually, I do enjoy platformers. That's the wrong one. It's gonna take... Take some time getting used to... Yeah, that's... I could've guessed that's not gonna work. Oh, shit. Uh-huh, I see. See, told you. Yeah, it's gonna take a lot of time getting used to switching to this one. Does it slow enemies or something? Seems to. Nice, nice, indeed. All right, I think there's treasure back there. Treasure down there too, which I can float to, I think. Yup. I'm liking this. Like, the most fun part of these types of games, yeah, that wasn't gonna work, is always when you have all your powers. Because that's when. That's when things get real creative. I'm never gonna get used to switching to that one. <laughs> Let me tell you that. Yeah. 
that that was the most fun part of Darksiders 1 as well. Even though a lot of people didn't like the tower with the portal gun, and I had my issues with it, it was a little too much, uh, like, there was too much of a puzzle focus in the end, but, like, the whole package, that was pretty good, because, like, you had all your powers, and, you know, you know how it'd be. I thought that would track the enemy a little bit more. But hey. It's no problem, no problem. See, now I'm wondering, is this the path we need to go forward? Because there's shit back there, I feel like. And wherever, wherever there's shit, you know, I need to take a look. That's still, that's still like weirdly... I wouldn't say bugged, because, you know, DSP bugged the game mechanics. I ain't about that life. But sometimes getting on these platforms is, like, way too difficult. Nice, so. Yeah, just lock on, come on. Yeah, this is what I wanted to check out, like... Is this the way forward or is the other path the way forward? You can never tell with this game. I think it's probably the other path. This ain't looking too way forward-ish. More like shortcut-ish. Hello? Wait, this area seems familiar. We've for sure been here before, right? That thing is dealing no damage. Yeah, this is a shortcut. Alright, cool. That's good to know. There's probably a Volgrim thing there. Somewhere, but... Alright. Just load. Took a long time as well, that load. I was like, damn. If you make me fall off... Again? Oh. It's all good, bro. It's all good. I don't know why I keep having to go for that. Oh, man. Again? That's the most this game has loaded since... Well, the last time it's loaded this much. There, look, there was some... There it is. Like, there's one of those things you can bust open. So what power does it, this give? Slow. Oh yeah, it looks... It looks ice-ish. That's the wrong healing item. God, fuck. I'm really like trying to dodge these guys. Not being an idiot on purpose. Oh, I'm not refilled. On the Nephilims. Alright. Oh, oh yeah, she can. I always forget she can crawl. It's like... It's like such a weird, like, unexpected mechanic. How the hell am I not gonna die here? Oh, okay, that's how. They tease you with that treasure, too. Okay, there's some underwater bullshit going on. But I'm an iced out bitch. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, I, li I like this. I like this a lot. Again, the being able to use all your powers, that is always a... It's always a neat mechanic. What up, shortcut? This looks like a long way to go, like... Sans Volgrim checkpoint. Or is this actually the way forward? Because I've been... 
Yeah, this just loops back. Nah, that can't be it. Can it? I don't trust this game. That's the problem. Like, how do you trust this game when it has a habit of, you know, making you run around in circles? But this is certainly going to ease things for the future. All right. What up? I need to be fired out, right? Yeah. There's a surprising amount of damage to, like, to enemies who live in lava. It's not what I would expect, but hey. Yeah, okay, that doesn't work. Switch, switch. Nintendo Switch. Yeah, let's not try that again. For a second, I thought that maybe, maybe, we'd be able to walk on top. Can you not climb out, seriously? Come on, girl. It's disappointing. You have to jump to that, don't you? Or float to it to s or something. A la, yeah. There we go. It's much better. And this looking like the, p the path we need to go. Just cover as much distance as we can. Because like... Uh-huh, we're not going to be able to... We have to float down, right? It looks like it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. It's the only possible explanation at this point. I don't see any other... Yeah, yeah. No. What? Oh, you can... I'm an idiot. Social psychology as well. Much to process. I've had to abandon so much in order to move forward. It feels like a loss. And at the same time, I've changed. Look at this place. Oh, I see how this leads back. It all makes sense. This is pretty cool. I mean, you gotta admit. These skeletons are still bitches. Give me a respite. Thank you. There's a lot of boys there. And there's a Volgrim. Finally. That's what I've been waiting for. Because we need to Serpent Hole to the Maker's Forge. This ice sword, this dual ice sword thing, I'm fucking with. So, let me just upgrade it as much as I can. And then we'll see what that bridge is all about. I'm not gonna go too, like, hard on this episode lengthwise. Uh, it sounded really bad. But, um... Yeah, it's, uh... It's been kind of busier today, so... I'll just... Do a normal one. I mean, I still feel like I made decent amounts of progress here. Got a new weapon. Another boss down. So I'm assuming we'll be fighting the Lord of Hollows as well. Oh, hello. Good to see you, horseman. A rousing delivery. So many. Oh, there he is. I was like... I was like, shit. Where did you go? Well, Upgrade weapon. Edge of Scorn. It's the edgiest weapon in the world. Alright. What about the barbs? Yeah, yeah. I knew it. I knew it. What else can we do? We could... Hmm. The wrath? Oh, yeah, that's the wrath generated. Alright, could go for this. Physical damage dealt with this weapon. Or... Yeah, let's increase our evade invincibility window. That and that's 
that seems like the best choice moving forward, I think. Haven't seen what the little, you know, special attack of this weapon is. And before we go on, let me just... Because I think I have a ton of crystals, yeah. It's about time for some major leveling. What does this do? Shatter to gain an attribute point. Holy shit. Let's just overpower ourselves. I'm not gonna spend all of this. Um, this will be fun for both of us. We gain like 10 levels. <laughs> Holy shit. Let's go for like 3, 4. I also want items. Alright. We kind of have run out of the need for small healings. We'll get three of these. Three of these. Havoc shards. Just stocking up. And the undying shard. Let's get one more of those. Alright. The rest of these souls, since it's like actually like impossible kind of to lose your soul in this game, let me just, you know. Not impossible, but very difficult. Um, you know what I'm trying to say. Let me just keep them. Gotta get more HP. All right, let's get a move on. Serpent hole back to the Molten Cave. That was satisfying, leveling up that much. Yeah, I've just been not shattering my crystals that I've been getting. I don't know why, just been slipping my mind. But hey, it's never too late, is it? Which means I was probably like, grossly underleveled um, for the previous boss. Maybe why it was so difficult. I don't think. Oh yeah, this might be. We might be having an. Oh yeah, this is not gonna be fun. Oh, it slows enemies. Live. Okay, that's pretty cool. Lasts for a long time as well. Man, this evade window up really does help a ton. This is so much easier to dodge. Like, you can feel it. Oh, okay. Why is that happening? It don't matter. We got a shortcut. All the way back to the beginning. Like, I knew this was going to be important. Because it doesn't matter which one we... And that should stay open. Which means that we can come up here and see what the hell is over here. Aside just from like treasure. And the spider ball track. Never gonna not call it the spider ball. She even transforms the same way. I feel like the spider ball controlled a little bit better though. This one feels kind of weird to navigate with. It's difficult to explain if you're not playing. But something ain't like other games. Well, it's like, what other game has had this mechanic aside from Metroid? Probably none. Wait, what if this is... What if this is the way forward? Because let me tell you... This is looking like a little bit like the way forward making you use all your abilities and everything. Unless this is another shortcut.
Oh, you're a ranged. Alright, whatever. Oh, thought you were dead. Never mind. Just. When have I ever killed something with that weapon? There he is. I was like, there's another ranged boy here. And before it. Oh! Multiple ranged ones. That slow is so helpful. Still taking a shit ton of damage from everything, but... Hey, whatever. At least now I'm dishing out damage, too. I feel like this is the way forward, which begs the question, what's behind that door? I mean, I can check anytime because there's a... Warp point there, or whatever you want to call it. Oh. This is looking like... We've been here before though, haven't we? Yeah, this is the Maker's Forge. Holy shit. Do we just have like new tools? Traverse at this one because I never came up like I never came back here. That's interesting, and there's two ways to make it there as well. With ice or because I guess you could I guess you could do wrath early. Oh, the undying. I was just gonna say. Holy shit, you guys do a lot of damage. What the actual fuck was that? I just need to figure out which warp point this is. It's after the Maker's Forge. But then again, it doesn't always correspond like that. Yeah, thought so. Serpent Hole... This is not the West End. The crossroads, right? Yeah, that's the crossroads. Obvious name, I think. It's where are the, the crossroads to every boss is. Something like that. So yeah, you might be able to take on Wrath early if you want. I did, again, I did some of this out of order. I think Slothy were meant to do earlier than I did. Maybe I'll just pop my time ability against those two up there. Or maybe those two are the blockade to you being able to kill Wrath early. It's like, nah, bitch, you're not ready for this yet. Because that was, like, strangely difficult. But again, like, if the game offers this level of freedom, I can only command that. Wait, where is the other one? <laughs> I think your friend left you. Yeah, this evade window is... For sure the best thing I've gotten. Look at how much better I'm at dodging. Finally- oh, hello. Thought you were dead. I even got souls from him. Weird. Lot of crawling to do. Lot of crawling. Alright, Wrath. Coming for your ass. This is an interesting looking area. I'm just thinking of which area type we have not had yet. And yeah, we haven't had the desert, desert one. Although I could use some 
dessert right about now. Okay. Let's just think logically about this. That's very cool. What I mean is that the ice actually stays. And if I jump, yeah, I just land on top. Yeah, this is... I'm liking this, how all these powers synergize. Perfect. I was just waiting for... Yeah, desert area. That's what I was thinking. All right, let's get in a couple of more uh, levels here. Now that I'm thinking about it. In fact, you know what? Yeah, let's get a lot more levels. Let's go OP. Cool, I'll keep this much. All right, we have a checkpoint. And finally, I have Nephilim's respi respites because... I've died. All right, cool. That's how we're going to do it. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here for now. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Wonder if this place is going to match the desert area in Darksiders 1, which was one of my favorite areas with the ashworms and everything. So we'll see what it looks like and feels like. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Darksiders 3. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.